What is a fluid? A fluid is a substance that forms to the shape of its container, like liquids and gases. When fluids move, they follow a set of rules called fluid mechanics. Movement of a fluid is characterized by the shape and volume of its container, its velocity or speed, and its viscosity, which is a measurement of how thick a fluid is. Fluid mechanics can be used to describe and predict the motion of a fluid. Here we see the calculated simulation of water flow, which looks very much like real water movement. When fluids are moving in a consistent manner, we call it steady flow, as represented by the green fluid. And when fluids are constantly changing directions, it's referred to as turbulent flow, which as you can see in the blue fluid is a lot messier. Biomedical fluid mechanics can be used to describe how fluid moves throughout your body, like how blood moves through your veins, or how air flows through your lungs. Blood is pumped from your heart to your lungs, where it can collect oxygen and deposit carbon dioxide. If we zoom in on the lungs, we can see that they aim at small, berry-like clusters called alveoli. The alveoli are surrounded by tiny blood vessels called capillaries. When you inhale, oxygen diffuses through the alveoli and capillary walls and dissolves into your bloodstream. Carbon dioxide leaves your blood through the capillaries and goes into the alveoli where it can be exhaled. Once blood is oxygenated, it goes back into your heart where it is pumped to every part of your body before the cycle starts again. Knowing the velocity, the shape of the veins and arteries, and whether the flow is laminar or turbulent will influence the way engineers create biomedical devices. For example, when arteries get blocked, the diameter becomes smaller and a higher blood pressure is required to maintain the same volumetric flow rate. To fix this, surgeons insert a stent to open up a blocked artery and restore the original fluid mechanics of the artery. Biomedical engineers look to the fluid mechanics of the artery to design a safe and effective stent. Another example of a medical device that uses fluid mechanics is an asthma inhaler. Asthma occurs when the lungs swell, making breathing much harder. The medicine in the inhaler helps bring down the swelling in the lungs, which increases the cross-sectional area, allowing the user to breathe more easily. The movement of air in the lungs, as well as the blood collecting oxygen at the lungs, is considered to find out how to get the right amount of medicine to the bloodstream. Now, engineers are trying to create artificial hearts! And it's all possible because of biomedical fluid mechanics.